An amusing notion. Can I also get a wife and make a few little brats of my own? A couple of tiny copies of you running around. Sounds fun to me. Not me. I'm an adventurer at heart. And an adventurer never rests. To each their own. Life is full of pain and misery. But it's also full of beauty and wonder. You should endure the former and live for the latter. There's so much to experience still. To people like us, settling down is like death. Something you is don't long for, nor expect. Another jog, Dominie. That will be all, so uh... uh actually, I wanted to talk to you, Domina. Maybe you perhaps retreat to a private chamber. Hmm. Seems like your handsome visage keeps attracting women. <laughs> I know. It's a blessing and a curse. Out with it, woman. What do you want? I... I think I am with child. Oh. Remain silent. You are the father of my child. Future child. Don't you remember me, Aquilinos? What? Is that true, mate? I, I don't know. I've never seen this woman in my life. You told me you would not remember me. Afterwards. And I respected that in a way. Damn. Now I need your help. Marcus <laughs> doesn't like his girls giving birth. I guess. He's a cruel man. I remember how kind you were to me. My child deserves better. Our child. Even if you don't want to have anything to do with me, I want our child safe and away from this shithole. Will That's you fair. save me? Hmm. You could purchase purchase if you want. Perhaps we should inform the Kensos. Quit bothering the guests, Luke here. These jugs will not deliver themselves. Help me, please. Quickly, Sarah. The night has taken an unusual turn. Mm. I apologize. You think she was telling the truth? Maybe. Well, not entirely. Times like these, I wish Calida were here. That woman has a knack for spotting a lie. True. Hmm. Do you really not remember her? I don't. But I do tend to forget some things when I'm drunk. Still, I find it hard to believe I forget the mother of my own child. What are you going to do? I don't know what to make of any of this. I'll have to think. Yeah, let me know if there's anything I can help with, mate. Thank you, my friend. That means a lot. You go. I suddenly have much to think about. Oh, I'll say you do. Right, is there anything else I need to do? Are there are no other quests. Um, any other shops I can visit? There's a bloke over here. We can see what he's got. Lady down there. But yeah, I think we're ready to move on from Act 1. Oh, it's sexist. Oh, you found me again, but you're a civilian now. My favorite Here grumpy old iron pounder. Customer in my smithy. Only because you've never met any of my competitors, I'm sure. I, I like my suppose you're in the market for some mm. carpentry tools. Do you not make arms and armor anymore? There is no market for such tools in peacetime. That point. Horse weapons are not allowed inside the pomerium. Tell you what, I do have something here you might be interested in. Have you ever heard the legend of the Ankylian? Good of Mars? Of course I have. Well, it just so happens I have come into possession of one of the replicas created by Numa Pompilius. Uh, you wish to sell me the replica? Or perhaps it's the original. Who knows? But you see, even a replica, ancient mm. and storied as it is, is worth a small fortune. If nothing else, it's an exquisite artifact of a bygone age. Your original, I believe, Rome, uh, the legends prescribe that Rome will only stand as long as the, yeah, the Ancilia is preserved. Then, if you buy it from me, you should take good care of it. 
A fair price, I should say. I'm pretty sure I'm broke, I dare say. The Ankele is yours. I cannot guarantee that it once belonged to a god, but you have my word that it is a good shield, and it will serve you well should you ever use it in combat. All right. Well, look at this thing. Oh, hi. Well, aren't you sexy? Hmm. Uh, mummy? Yep. But I'm broke, right? Oof. Pretty much. Or is it just me? Hey! It over isn't here. you. The bread Brother. is getting worse. Oh! Brother! It's so good to see you again. How have you been? Yeah, see you're still in good health? No, yeah, how's uh how's he treating you? For some reason, Skyavala is treating me like a queen. I do not know why. Maybe he's afraid I'll be collecting information for you. I'm starting to think his brother Lorca wants me to be on his side. Skyavala is trying to keep his brother away from me. What's this some infighting between the brothers? That could be used to our advantage. I don't really have much time. They are tailing me, following all of my moves. Hmm. Do you think Skyavala is playing next? It is hard to guess. He acts as if he's a man without any ambition. We both know that is not correct, though. I think they're working on something. Unfortunately, paranoia reigns in Villa Ritalia. They cover their tracks well and hide everything, even from their own people. Hmm, who's following you? And his men. He insists it's for my own security, but... Yeah. There's something unsettling about his smile. I don't know what it is. I think Lorco is more dangerous than Skyavala by far. We've only met Skyavala. Business and everyone acts like they're working for him. Even my husband's lictors. Okay. Uh, waiting here long. While. I sent her sir where to stake out our villa. She ran and fetched me as soon as she saw you leave for the market. You're wrong. I do have to do this. It's the only way I can help you work against them and maybe one day avenge our father. Oh, we might be able to get you out of there. That's the last thing we should consider. I think I'm supposed to serve as bait. And something like that is exactly what they're waiting for. Okay. Besides, I'm much more useful to you as Ritalia Skyavala's wife. All right, well, take care of yourself then. Thank you, but I don't think I have a choice in that. I will send a sir to your kitchen door with instructions for where to meet me next week. Okay. Just like my own sister tries to boss me around. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, any more people I can talk to? Any back alley deals? No. Exit there. Something going on over here. Selection of wines from Greece. I have the best wine in Rome. I guarantee it. News from Greece: The army of consul Lucius Licinius Lucullus is recently returned following its victory. I think we're good. Mithridates Megas. A triumph has been granted by the Senate. My galley is three weeks overdue. Do you think a storm has taken? Mm -mm. Don't even say it. Okay. Well, let's head home. Oh. Porter Mother Dear. Mm -mm -mm. Already spoken with you. Who's this? Oh, it's you. Oh, oh! I thought that was a chest. That's just a Your freaking couch. Has started catching me up on how the vineyards have been going since we left. The harvest was better than expected. That's good. That is good news, of course, but it also means we have a problem. One of our grapes produced a particularly good wine. It's an opulent vintage with a smooth finish. Quite frankly, Domine, it is one of the best wines I have ever tasted. What's the catch? The question is what we shall do with this wine. It's certainly worth more than what we normally sell for. It's the best kind of problem to have. It might be a good idea to visit some of the merchants in the market. All right, I'll do that. Before you leave, there's a small thing we have to decide. A good wine deserves a good name. Mm. What should we name this one? Killer of Dogs is a horrible name. Darkest Rose? Mm, sure. Mm, darkest Rose. Romantic and dangerous. 
Very well. That being settled, you should go and talk to the wine merchant. Okay. How are we doing financially? We're doing very well, actually. I'm not. Given enough time and persistence, we can rely on the wine. I got 300 denarii. In fact, we owe our success in the political arena partly to our excellent vineyards. Hmm. All right. Anybody over here to talk with? No. Okay, I guess we're heading back out again. Mm -mm. Want to get it all done. So we need money. The cat is out cold thing a fine reward is offered and four is a weird designs I, I've never gotten point to them price on all way what brings you to the land of wine today if mm. you what you seek you have come to the right place my Oops. wine is much better than those of Marcellus Whipsanius. I have some buy yeah, wine need of a buyer. Perhaps you're interested in, in a, a good deal. I would be very interested. But the rules state that I have to call the other merchants for a tasting. We each must have an equal opportunity. All right. Well, gather around and get ready for the tasting of your life. Exciting. Mm -mm -mm. This is brilliant. Exquisite. The best wine I have tasted this year. You know, your father and my father used to trade, but I do not believe they ever achieved this level of excellence. I do not know, Quintus. It does have a harsh finish. Well, I would call it nutty. Giggity. Really good wine, though. I could sell this for years. Dominate, would you consider a five-year deal? I'm willing to buy a fifth of your stock this year and another fifth next year and so on. For each batch, I would offer you 1,000 denarii. I won't risk that. Tastes change, and demands change with them. I'll pay you 3,500 denarii. Sure, it is less than you'd get from Cordius over five years, but I want all of this wine now. I okay. agree, it is a good wine. I will buy all of your stock right now, and I'll pay 4,000 denarii, more than Quintus is willing to part with. Half now, and half when I take delivery. I should have accepted your offer, Quintus. I am an honest trader, Legate. My father used to deal with your father before either of us was born. I will sell your wine to the best clients and pay for all of it up front. Hmm. Yeah, why should I accept your payment installments? The deal favors us both. I pay less now, and you have greater profits in the long term. I mean, his payout is 5,000 over five years, where I can get 4,000. Mm. Will you honor it? Yeah. Good money. More than what Quintus pays, and you'll get paid as soon as I take delivery. In exchange, your wine will be sold at the best tavern in Rome. It's an offer you cannot refuse. I appreciate my decision. Sure made the right choice, and that you know what's good for you. Uh, your offer makes sense, Cordius, but consider that as the remaining stock of this vintage dwindles, demand will soon exceed supply, uh, driving up the prices. Must also factor in the cost uh, of me making, yeah, and storing the wine. Your business acumen is impressive. Hmm. I agree to your terms and revise the offer. I shall pay you 6,000 denarii over the next five years. Preposterous. <laughs> you can't make a deal with these fools. Mark my words, you will regret this. I give you one last chance to change your mind. Mm. I don't like your tone. Yeah, now get out of my sight before I lose my temper. You have missed out on a great business venture. I will make the arrangements at once. You will receive the first installment soon. Cool. Okay. I mean, 5,000 over five years is not much, but the going 6,000 would be great for me. Mm-hmm. So, am I still a broke bitch? Uh, where's my denari? 
Oh, we haven't gone the, the payments yet. The following noblemen involved in the insurrection okay. of Nina have received pardon of Lucullus and must not be harmed. Octarius Pontidius Crito, Vibius Lactius Mesa. All right, I think we're good. Mm -mm. All right, now we talk to Mother Dear. Put the broom. Is everything well, dear? Outstanding is much improved thanks to my achievements in Greece. It's time uh, to begin restoring the villa and expanding our business. They told me Lucullus is your Patronus now. That means our family reputation will be restored. That and more. Lucius! Salve, Claudiana. I wanted to arrive sooner, but we had work to do at the Senate. The villa is legally yours. Nice. The Trinity of Rights has been restored as yours and yours alone, Legate. Uh, my sister Lavinia. She's still married to Skyoella, and there's nothing we can do about that. Girl. However, now that you're here, I suggest you turn that into an advantage. That's pretty much what she said. Ever repay you, Lucius? There's no need to repay anything. You of all people should know that, Claudiana. Uh, it was not a transaction. Still, I'll find a way to repay you. I'll keep that in mind. Is that it? But what Don't if they... worry, Claudiana. No one can harm your family as long as I am alive. Everything will be fine. Oh, he's gonna die on us, isn't he? He's gonna die on us. <laughs> Act two, Africa. Five years quietly passed. You buy, okay? So it means we just got the six K. We definitely made the right choice there. Boom. Okay. Good morning, dear. Have you slept well? Uh, usual. Slept like an infant. E. Cat standing guard. Against whom? Will they stop the northern barbarians by their sheer fluffiness? Christ. <laughs> uh, maybe the gods are trying to tell me to, I need to be more careful. It is always wise to be careful. Herb. Speaking of which... Your sister sent a message again. She wants to meet you at the marketplace as usual. Do not make her wait this time. She's risking a lot by doing this. I don't like using it, but she's a primary source for inf uh, information. This can't go on. You must find a way to get her back. Hmm. Don't worry, I have a plan, do we? Whatever you do, be careful. I hope we have a plan. Ooh, that's sexy, sexy money right there. That boy who always asks for you hasn't been good. Good morning, Domine. I've been waiting for you. Uh, have you been exercising? <laughs> you jest, I'm sure. If anything, I've grown a bigger belly. The wine doesn't help. Uh, we should visit Lucullus. See, I wonder what he's up to. I can't think of a reason why he would not be doing well. I've heard Nasamones is a land of forbidden pleasures. Alas, it's too far away. But uh, speaking of our friends in high places, it might be worth going to the Senate this afternoon. Tullius Kikero is holding court there today. You might learn something. Okay. Uh, the winery's doing well, I assume? It is generating quite a bit of income, even though our recipes are old. The grape seed we have imported from Gallia produces tasteful drink. There's always room for improvement. Uh, my sister wants to meet today. I've heard Skywala is taking good care of her. This unspoken and an official truce between our families is unnerving. But I prefer it to all out feud. Sure. Well, let's go to the market. That you do. And I can buy some groceries while we're at it. Do you need me? Is what's her face still living here? Oh she is, so she just doesn't want to talk to me. That's kinda of messed up. 
been wearing the same pink dress for five years. These damned crows and their indiscriminate defecation. Indiscriminate defecation. I scared them off for you. You happy now? Mm -mm. Uh, let's go to the Senate. Senatus Publisque Romanus. David. Oh, hello. Cicero. What brings you to the Senate today? Hmm. Walking around trying to clear my head, I end up here. Then perhaps this is where you should be. I hope I can clear your mind. Um, do you think we always end up where we're supposed to be? Perhaps. Perhaps not. The real question is, does it matter? Places are mm. constant. Actions are not. It doesn't matter where you are. Matters what you will do there. The Senate doesn't have a session today, but I have to talk to my clientes regularly. That is why you can usually find me here. See, so may I borrow your time? Of course you may. As long as you're willing to give it back when you're done. Uh, what do you actually do here? My duty to the people of Rome. In other words, politics. But... I'm known for defending people's rights, too, when they need it. Uh, I haven't heard anyone referring to politics like that. That saddens me, but it does not surprise me. Our virtues are in steady decline. Many people enter the world of politics for personal gain, for the status it brings, or the money. We must work for the good of our society. It is the will of the gods, and therefore our duty. Hmm, you think a god wants us to be a po uh, yeah, wants you to be a politician? Indeed. It is implied. Why else would they give us reason? Reason is what men and gods have in common. It's okay. what separates us from beasts. That reason must be used for the betterment of mankind. Hmm. I just want to know what right they have. Prior to the writing of Lex Duo Decum Tabularum, our writers Jesus Christ, that's a mouthful. The of Tarquinius Superbus. Now they are written down for all to know. It is not that easy, of course. Laws and situations evolve. But at least the rights of our people are not subject to the whims of a madman. What about people who are not literate? How would they know what their rights are? That is where I come in as a lawyer. Knowing their rights is a citizen's duty. But even those who fail at that duty deserve to have their rights defended. I'm just going to skip, may, just skip the through that. people are articulate enough to be able to express their problems properly. Uh, so you said teach people how to defend themselves? Instead, certainly not. I teach people and I defend people. And thus my duties are fulfilled. Okay, I see. Is there anything else you wish to discuss? Um... A fair question. What do you think? Um, one should always defend the right cause. But that assumes you have the ability to distinguish right from wrong. Oh, God. Do you claim to have such a skill? Um. Yeah, they do have a right to hire an advocate. And there's a reason for that. I defend people because I simply like the art of rhetoric. Furthermore, my defense tests the system. If I can defend a guilty man successfully, that means the system is flawed. A flawed system cannot be just. What do you think is right and moral? Simply put, reason. We've been granted reason by the gods. I like the art of rhetorics because it helps me apply reason. Okay. Not because it gets me drunk or anything like that. An Epicurean would enjoy that in his misguided worldview. They believe life is all about pleasure. 
Mm, perhaps by pleasure they mean uh, an avoidance of pain for them, uh, themselves or others. Mm, perhaps. Your argument makes sense. But I still think you're giving them too much credit. Will you teach me through rhetorical techniques? Your understanding of the art is probably better than you think. Suppose there is a chest. Inside the chest is something you desire. But the chest is locked. Now I believe you would first look into your pockets and find out you're already in possession of the key. Logically, that would be the first thing to check. But let us suppose you can't do that. What other solution will you try next? Hmm. Oh, so I can go with ethos. Or emotional manipulation. Let's go with that one. With finesse, you can lock uh, a lock can be turned without a key. Very good. A lock can be picked. Finesse and subtle manipulation is as important in rhetorics as in lock picking. It is tempting to rely on facts and logic when you believe they support your argument. But in the end, everyone believes the facts are on their side. The way to change a man's heart is to stir his emotions. Weave a tale of woe. Paint okay. your audience a vivid picture. Make them feel that you are right. If nothing else, pathos will keep spectators from being bored. And if you can hold a crowd's attention, you have already won. I have enjoyed this discussion, and I hope you have benefited from it. If you'll excuse me now, I have to talk to a client. All right, mate. Vale. Learn a second theoretical technique. Sure. Anybody else here to talk to? Mm, I don't think so. Mm -mm. To the streets. Ooh, good girl. Okay. Feel under the weather? I will attend to your health. I'm looking to commission a painting for my bedroom. Oh, a painting. Of course. I'd be delighted to discuss the details. What do you have in mind? Sup, Sorry. sister. Sally. Salve legate. It is so good to see you after all this time. Oh, hi. Congratulations on your election to the Senate. Oh, thank you. It was not an easy election campaign, but now my family has two men in the Senate. What brings you to the market today? Hmm. Shopping, what else? We seem to have something to, uh, yeah, we seem to be out of flour. Surely you have Serwi for that purpose. It is good that you're here, though. It seems poor Luiana is harassed by some less virtuous individuals when visiting the market. She is talking to people she should not talk to. You never know where this kind of thing will lead. There are scoundrels and thugs all across. The oh, city. this guy is subtle. Senator, Senator, someone just took your coin purse. He's running there. Look. What? Oh, Caladia with the save. Oh, right. It's gone. I see him. We'll get the bastard. <laughs> Wait. No one has even been near me. Ex except. Does stupidity run in your family, or are you exceptional this way? <laughs> Good job. Who was that woman? An old friend who has a habit of appearing exactly when she's needed. How do you know she was here? First 